guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so today I thought I'd just bring something completely different um, I've been having a play with this stuff now I brought this off Timu and it's sort of like flower confetti now I asked you lovelies the other day when I showed you my um, all my lace and stuff that I got from Timu what this was called I was calling it flower soft no I wasn't I was calling it petal soft and it's actually very very similar to flower soft now this isn't flower soft now um if i could get flower soft i would get it but i'm here in portugal and i can't get it here um so i would most definitely buy that but this is the equivalent that i could get um and i just love it i think it's a fabulous so, so if you can get hold of flower soft i would buy that most definitely because i'm not i can't actually remember what it's like it's very very similar this is um you know this is really nice but i'm sure flower soft is a lot lot better now i am making these lovely little topiaries now look at this isn't that just gorgeous now i'm using some of my greenery uh, which i count comes in bags like that i've used it for my christmas journals and things like that and also my folks of the forest journal um, and the bag is just going on and on and on so i thought i'd make some little topiary trees today now this would make a beautiful card topper um, for a mother's day card or an easter card um i just think they're beautiful so i will show you how i did it now i've also got some within little heart these would have been lovely for valentine's day wouldn't they and also the ones which sort of like stick on just like that so they're like little flower heads so you can pop those into like a little um bunch of flowers um i'm going to show you how to make these today so i thought i'd have a little play i've also added some of it to some of my um fussy cuts so I think that looks quite nice and also I've got this one which would work fab with my sewing um, shabadashery um, kit wouldn't it so I think maybe should we just start off with this one I'm just going to quickly and then we can let it dry so what I'm going to do I'm going to pop a little bit of um, just some tacky glue just on the roses now this stuff that I've got is a lot lot brighter um, which is you know quite vibrant but let's just see it might look quite nice on here mightn't it so all i'm doing i'm popping it in there i popped it into a little pot because i think you can sprinkle it better um like that just sprinkle it on the glue so just a little bit of tacky glue on there works brilliant oh look at that that's fabulous isn't it oh i do like that so let's let that to dry over to the side now this is a bit of a messy one today so first thing i am going to do i'll get this ready i've got a stencil here i'm not quite sure whether where this stencil came from i think it was a gift that i was given um so i'm just going to go round my mother-in-law um saves bits up for me she gathers things up so um when i go to the uk with andy um she gives me lots of lovely bits and pieces that she's found so it's fabulous all the bits that i can't get while i'm here so look at that that's just a really lovely background so i'm going to do another one on this one here as well if we have time to do two of them i did want to show you how to do the heart and then actually how to do the sort of the topiary tree so maybe we can do two of these so look at that and so uh, obviously any stencil you don't have to stencil it at the back you can pop whatever you like you could do a little collage of papers at the back as well couldn't you but um i just thought that looked really really pretty now i've also made some little um what they're called flower pots these are really really simple all it is is a piece of card that i've just tapered in i've just cut down and tapered in either side um, and then I'm just going to ink around the edges like that so when you're doing a flower pot and you want it to have a little bit of dimension just ink either side and leave sort of like a, a lighter bit in the middle and then that will sort of like make it look like it's sort of like um, shaped 
Let's pop a little bit at the top. Not that we're going to see the top bit because we'll probably cover that up. But can you see it looks like it's sort of like um, got a little bit of dimension on there, especially on this one. I did actually round that just a little bit and stick that on. So we've got all our little bits ready and I've done a little um, bow in some embroidery thread. I did that before because I'm so clumsy with doing things like that. I'm all sort of like fingers and thumbs. So I pre-made those. Right, let's pop those to the side. Now, what I am using is this. This is florist wire. Now, this one's called Oasis Floral Products. That I just got from my cheap shop. Um, so you can probably pick this up anywhere. This is just a green one, um, but you can probably get the white but I think the green looks really nice. So to do the actual little round topiary bit, all as I'm going to do is take that wire and then make a little spiral. I'm going to be using some um, hot glue on this one. So I'm just going to go round in a sort of, sort of spiral. It doesn't have to be perfect, does it? And then I'm just going to go down so it looks like that can you see you can probably see a little bit better on there just make it out there we go so that's our little topiary tree now i am going to cut it we can always cut it again afterwards because we don't need that great big long piece okay so i'm going to take my little bit of greenery i'm going to take my glue gun and i'm just going to pop glue around it like that just like that on both sides twist it so it doesn't get all fall through and then i'm just going to stick some on there and some on there now obviously that's an awful lot but um, it will obviously come off so just stick it down like that pull these bits off we don't need these bits stuck to my fingers now let's just squeeze it on. I'm using the glue gun, but you don't have to use glue gun. You can use um, just some tacky glue. Um, it's entirely up to you. But this is the quickest way for me to show you. I think the first one I used tacky glue because um, I had a little bit more time. Um, but to show it, it's easier. Right, I'm just going to sort of trim it around just a little bit, not too much. Get all these little bits and pieces out of the way. Can you see that's our little topiary tree? Simple, it's a little bit lopsided, but it's pretty good, isn't it? And then, what we're going to do, we're going to take our little bits of flower confetti, I'm going to call them, and I'm going to pop some little blobs of glue just in little random places, like that. Just some little blobbies around. You can always add more if you don't have enough. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to sprinkle it on. There we go. Don't dip it in because you might get the glue actually in there. And you don't want that. You just want to sort of tap it on and tap it off. Look at that. That's our little topiary tree. Super, super simple, isn't it? And I just think they look lovely. I'm going to pop that in. I've just got a little bit of an oasis, but you can use um, a little bit of foam or something like that. Okay, shall I show you how to make the little um, hearts? Because that's really pretty, isn't it? I do like that. These are, would look lovely in a little um, shabby journal. So this is what I'd like to pop these in. I'm going to pop a little bow on there, I think. These little bows on there like that. And I think that will just add into a shabby journal. Really, really lovely. So to do the um, heart, I've just got get a little round um, shape. A pen, pencil. This is just an old um, little sort of ball tool. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go around... Just bend it around like that and then we want to take, I'm going to take a little pair of 
round those pliers and then bend that up if I can. It's a bit of a bit of a big bend in my heart there, wasn't it? I'm going to turn that, twist that round. So we've got a sort of heart shape like that. Bend that in. This is a big one. And then this little end bit, I'm just going to turn. Just make a little loop in there so it catches into that piece. Okay, and then we can sort of bring that up. Push that down so it's a little bit tighter if I can. There we go. Pull it to shape. Bit of a dippy heart this one. There we go. And I'm gonna just bend this just so we're level. Look at that. So that's a bit of a funky old heart, isn't it? So let's take our flower dust, flower confetti. I won't put that over the top. I'm gonna to use um tacky glue for this one. Just pop nice bit of glue around here tacky glue is good because it's a little bit thicker um, like that but I do believe if you can get a hold of the flower soft the original stuff I think they have all the glue they have everything on there I'm going to um, do a little bit of research and see if I can get my hands on stuff. Some right, I'm going to just tip this in. No, I'm going to tip it in. I'm going to pop it on the top like that. Just sprinkle it over. Turn it over to the back. This is just so pretty. This brick bing brings back lots of memories because I had flower soft soft years ago gosh it's got to be at least 12 15 years ago i was using this there we go perfect look at that and then once you let that dry the white glue will um disappear it goes um, transparent anyway but look at that that's beautiful i'm going to leave this on the longer one because that's a bigger heart so i might be able to do something else with that okay so that's how they are made quite quite simple um i am loving this though i think that looks beautiful so that's definitely going to go into my um shabadashery journal right let's pop that on there so what shall we do we'll take one of our little um flower pots let's just wrap it bend it around here give it a little bit of dimension like that so that goes on there so what should we have should we have a little heart should we take this little one pop that on there that's about the right size isn't it so the first thing i'm going to do is stick this on still a little bit wet on here now i'm going to pop just a tiny bit of glue gun on here like that Like that. Is that sort of straight? That's sort of straight, isn't it? So again, I'm just using glue gun because it's quick um, to dry, but that's lovely, isn't it? Okay, so then I'm going to take a little bit of greenery like this, just roll it up a little bit. I'm going to pop a little bit of glue in here because I want the greenery just to stick out the top of here. Just a little bit. Just pop that in there. Can you see it just sticks out the top just a little bit. Like that. Perfect. And then that will just fit on there like that lovely 
So the way I'm going to do that, I'm just going to glue it. And pop it over our little metal bit. Oops. Probably come down a little bit. There we go. Make sure that sticks down. Look at that. Doesn't that look lovely? I think that's so, so pretty. And really, really quite simple to do, isn't it? That's the other one. Um, what should we pop on there? Should I pop another little bit of lace? Just that little bit goes on there. Just fits perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm all glue gunny everywhere. Let's so pop a little bit across there. Should have some tweezers really. There we go, look at that. That's just oh, I love them. Where's my tweezers gone? There we go. I'm gonna just take this. Now that can go on there, but I quite like that up there, I think, on this one. I really need to get myself a decent pair of tweezers. That looks pretty, doesn't it? So let's just pop a tiny, tiny blob of glue on there. Take our little bow and pop that there. At that and I think these make fabulous little journal cards or toppers for a card for a journal oops bit of glue on there um, and again like I said Mother's Day is coming up so I think they are really really lovely now let them dry make sure they dry should we just do another quick one how are we doing for time Oh, easy. Lots of time. This is going quite quickly, isn't it? So look at this one. Oops. A little heavy on the back. These are just beautiful. It's got a little bit of a wonky old trunk there. Now, again, if you were pretty good at this, you could probably do a topiary tree that's sort of like the wibbly wobbly ones, couldn't you? Um, or a bonsai. I wonder if you could do a bonsai tree. I'm going to pop a little bit of glue just in the middle. I suppose you could, couldn't you? I think the card goes this way. That's pretty good, isn't it? Now again, you can sew around. I should have sewn around some of these, actually. But of just around the edge add a little bit to it oh gosh i just think they're so pretty okay let's take our little flower pot i'm gonna just pop that on there just like that a little bit of greenery let's take some of this That might be a little bit too much. Put a little bit of glue on there. Stick it on. What is about this? You can sort of like trim it up. You can just, if you have too much, you can always get your scissors and just trim it up because we don't really want it. I suppose you could have it coming out the side. Or you could have a flower pot like this, couldn't you? You could have the it down through here. That would look really pretty. Here we are. That looks nice. Let's bend it a little bit more. A little bit of glue down the sides. On. Look at that. Aren't they just so pretty? I might actually pop, I'm going to stick another little bit of this on there. 
just so it goes down with my tweezers. A little bit of a little bit of stray greenery on my desk here. So let's just pop that down on there. Look at that. And now let's just wait for that to dry. Let's bring this in. Let's pop just a little blob of this. Just on there. Dep oh, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. So that doesn't need lace on there, does it? But I think it will probably need this little bow. Lots of bits and pieces everywhere. Look at that. Should we pop the bow there or should we pop? Should I quite like them up there. I think they normally are up there, aren't they? Should we pop it up there because that looks lovely. Lots of little bits and bobs everywhere. A little bit of glue. What do I do with my tweezers? Oh, right under my nose. Let's take that. Pop that on. Oh, how pretty. Now again, you can add little words onto here um, and everything. So, oh, just love them. Just so pretty. Look at that. And these loving them absolutely love them i do like it on the bird cage so if you have um any of this whoopsie daisy it's just beautiful love it i am gonna actually add what do you reckon should we add a little bit to this one it's very addictive once you do it on one i want some more colors now so i'm definitely going to go and do a little bit of research for the flower soft because I know there's lots of different colours you can get. Just going to wiggle it around. Don't want too much because this is quite a big rose. Let's see what that looks like. Just gives a lovely little bit of dimension, doesn't it? Oopsie lots of ideas i could come up with lots and lots of ideas for this maybe a little bit more glue on here don't want to cover it up too much but i think you could probably have a few different colors in there or maybe a little bit of glitter or something added in as well what do you think it's worth a try isn't it look at that and then you've got the little birdies in between Oh, I love it. Nice and messy. There we go. So there we go, guys. That was a nice, fun one today. I've wanted to have a play with that um, since it popped through my litter box. And I just think these little topiary trees just look fantastic, don't they? Absolutely gorgeous. So there we go, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Have a fantastic rest of the day. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. All right, guys, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.